It's a town that was built by the railroads. But it was a game that helped give it passion. Reading's a tough town, always has been a tough town. And because of that, uh, they are very demanding, the folks of Reading. Baseball helped Reading make its name in the game. And now as times change, so will the name. It's Reading, I mean, it's the Reading Phillies. That's a, gonna be a big change. Hey, you're the Reading Phillies. How could you do this to the Phillies? And, and what I've been saying is, I honestly believe our relationship with the Phillies is enhanced through what we're about to bestow upon people. Now we're, oh my God, we're losing the Reading Phillies, something that was actually scorned by some people at the beginning, because it wasn't Reading enough. Uh, so yeah, change is tough. But history can, and often does, repeat itself. Lazinski was here, and uh, Mike Schmidt. I remember Rocky Calavito played here. Herb Score, a lot of good ball players. As the minor league son of the parent club in Philadelphia, future stars and also ran spiked this field with hopes and dreams of making it to the show. As far as the game, it was a show. Minor league baseball lore was always alive and well here. After all, this is Baseball Town. If you can make it in Reading, if you can make it in the double A league, Eastern League, and particularly in the Reading Phillies, you can make it anywhere. Why must they change? They have a good thing going there, they have good attendance. But time changes. Like the Reading Phillies, well, Ernie really the Barber good. has been around a long time. I've been here 50 years. People in Reading love baseball. They come from all over. And it's reasonable down here. They'll still come. It's gone hard to change certain people. Just a game. So I respect the people that are out there and that are worried. And all I've been saying to them is, let me show you on Saturday like I've been able to show a small handful of other people and those other people that are also very passionate about this place like it. Whatever the name, this town always treated me well. As a ball player, I quickly learned how to belong and then knew I did. This place and this team made quite an impression on this young kid. But in this town, folks will always remember the names and the players before the show. When it was the Reading Indians, I worked out there. I was the uh, scorekeeper in the left field to put the scores in. And uh, we used to chase balls, the foul balls. And then it was the uh, Red Sox and then the Phillies. There's a joke about how many Berks Countyans does it take to change a light bulb. The response is, change? <laughs> you just don't do that. It's a big deal to change our primary logo and our name, you know, and we wouldn't be doing it if we weren't excited about it. We would have said, hey, leave well enough alone. The game that has made it through so much will make it through this. After all, this is Reading. This is Baseball Town. All right, Scott, the time has come. Show us what you got. <laughs> well, um... The main thing we focused on at the beginning was that we felt like our franchise, our mark, our logo needed to speak more to children. So this is what we end up with. The Reading Fightin' Phils, with the ostrich and a feathery font added to the Phillies nickname of Fightin' Phils. And the goal is when our players take the field, they would literally look exactly the same from a fabric standpoint as the Whiz Kids team of 1950, but they would have the new Fightin' Phils feathery font on there. This is George Field. So what's in a name? This one is something that shares the passion and the history of what once was. Uniforms change, names change, franchises change. They, all, they change all the time. But at the core of it all is that marvelous game called baseball. The names will last forever. The Schmitz, the Boas, and Luzinskis. But the name that will never be forgotten will be the one that was worn on the front of the jersey close to the hearts of its fans. I think we found a name that uniquely uh, does a very good job of celebrating our Phillies affiliation and giving us, to, you know, to the extent that we needed, our own identity. A change that somehow remains the same.